Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this time we're making oatmeal cookies. So the first thing you want to put is butter and you have to put in 230 grams of butter or one cup of butter. Yeah, and just chop it off so it'll be easier to blend. And I just whipped it with some with mixer because it's way more easier. Please do not whisk it with your hand. It's it's tiring. By the way, mix it two to three minutes until creamy. After making your butter really creamy, add in 150 grams of icing sugar and 30 grams of brown sugar. I just used like a brown sugar I had, but apparently you have to use packed light or dark brown sugar. But either way, it tastes the same, I think. I don't know, but yeah. For the butter, you have to mix it in high speed. As for the sugar, make sure you speed it on medium or it's going to fly all over your face. the two eggs and vanilla like one teaspoon of vanilla around there and beat it on high speed for around one minute until combined <laughs> Okay, so for the dry ingredients, you need 190 grams of flour and a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix that in another bowl and just dump it in the wet ingredients and put in the rolled oats and just mix it until combined for around a few minutes with a spoon or you can just use the mixer. Either way, it's the same.
for this step, you can either use chocolate chips or raisins. For this one, I use chocolate chips, but usually I use raisins. So around 200 grams of chocolate chips or raisins. For raisins, I love to put like 220, 230. It's super good. I, I don't really like the chocolate chips. I prefer raisins, but my siblings love the chocolate chips, so I just made them this one. So take like this kind of, you can use that bowl if it fits your fridge, but it doesn't fit my fridge, unfortunately. So I just put it in, yes it did fit, and just cover it with some plastic wrap or the lid of the Tupperware itself. Apparently, um, Tupperware lids get lost around the house, so I just use plastic wrap. it rest in the fridge for 45 minutes to one hour you can put it in the fridge for up to three days but if you put it more than two hours make sure to put it out for like 10 to 20 minutes because it will go all frozen it's just not easy to work with <laughs> This is really optional. You can use a uh, parchment paper or margarine. Margarine? How do you pronounce that in English? Is that right? But yeah, I just slaughtered some. Slaughtered? That sounds like a crime movie thing. I don't know. I just painted. Painted? Yeah, I did that. And I put like a really generous amount on the thingy. I have no idea. Yes, and just roll the old cookie dough to like 30 to 35 grams. Yeah, roll it and like weigh it because it's better that way. I tried making it like 40 grams and it's too big and very, no, 30 to 35 grams is amazing already. them out like push it down a little and this beta it made around 32 cookies so yeah you can actually divide it divide the dough when you make it so just divide everything into two if you want to make it less so 32 divide by two will be like 16 so you can do that if you want but i didn't Bake them in 170 Celsius for 22 minutes. I burned mine. Just make sure to look at it every few um, minutes. And this is how the inside looks. It was too sweet, but you can adjust it. 
thank you everyone for watching.